There's a pretty strong sort of message out in the culture today that young people are self-absorbed and not very responsible. When I think of Jenny, um, I think of somebody who embodies that young people have a natural desire to be connected to issues that matter in their community, um, a natural sense of compassion for people who suffer, um, and a yearning that, that their lives would matter. I think she's a natural leader, um, always very kind, really considerate. You can tell she's very easygoing. She just has a really calm nature and is always smiling and just really friendly. I think there's a humility there um, and an integrity that's, that other people really can depend on. At any age, I think people have something to contribute to community service. I think adults should know that um, students have the desire and the passion and the energy to um, get involved in their communities. I wanted to get involved with the Social Justice Conference because I wanted to see how it all came together and to be part of the process. The Social Justice Conference um, is a process surrounding a day-long conference experience that includes a keynote segment, a variety of workshops, uh, each student gets to attend three of them, and then towards the end of the day, sort of a what's next. What are issues that really matter to you? Uh, what would you like to impact over the next few months? And Jenny picked the idea of global poverty and hunger. I chose um, the issue of global poverty and hunger because it, it's an issue that is prevalent in, in any um, community, in any society. And it was one where I felt that I could really um, impact because I could do something like collect food or raise money to go and package food. And then you can see the results of that. Jenny and the others had the idea of, well, maybe we could approach the folks that are doing the Snow Days dance. Let's ask if they could take a dollar out of each ticket and you know, donate it to Kids Against Hunger. We were able to raise $400 or $500, which was donated to Kids Against Hunger, um, which is an organization that has a specially developed um, food package of it's like a rice, high protein mixture to send to um, impoverished countries. I think that Jenny um, is somebody who clearly shows that young people are capable of, of thinking beyond themselves, um, of seeing their capacity to act, um, and of doing so um, in some challenging ways. I first decided to volunteer at the hospital because I'm thinking about choosing a career in medicine. So that's why I decided the hospital just to be um, in a medical environment. I think Jennifer's motivation for volunteering here went well beyond just a resume or scholarship applications. I really seen her wanting to come in and do her best. We all know in our everyday life that it's really those little things that make a difference to us as human beings. In Jennifer's time volunteering here, she spent lots of her time delivering flowers to making beds in the Center for Surgical Care and assisting all around the hospital in, in many different ways. There's been a, a couple of instances where you um, have to transport a patient down to an entrance to be taken to another medical facility and then the patient just gets a chance to talk to somebody one-on-one -on -one or just to ch chat about something simple as the weather. It helps them forget about what they're experiencing. What Jennifer's done and the impact that she's made has really helped every single patient that she's come in contact with, which is you know, numerous, hundreds of thousands of people that she's come in contact with. Um, also through her work here, she's been a great leader to the other junior volunteers, so I feel that her impact has been felt by every one of those volunteers that she worked with as well. I personally think that when we refer to young people only as our future leaders, we're procrastinating. We're losing sight of their capacity now to make active contributions. 
Um, they bring an idealism, they bring an energy, um, an ability to imagine that the world can be better than it is. I want people to know that volunteering is a lifelong process and it's not just for um, students or it's not just for elderly. Anybody can volunteer and it doesn't have to be long or short time periods. It can just be, you know, an hour, a month or something, but just something that it's great to continue for your whole life. In a world where increasingly busy schedules often lead to almost helping others, it's encouraging to know that there are still young, dynamic, and compassionate servant leaders like Jennifer Schmidt. When she wanted to explore a career in medicine, she simply walked into St. Cloud Hospital and volunteered. And it was there, among the recovering victims of stroke, head, and spinal cord injuries, that she found something unexpected, her passion. She was required to volunteer 50 hours. She stopped counting at more than 1,000, but she never stopped volunteering. She raised funds for Kids Against Hunger and Hurricane Katrina victims, then went on to plan Central Minnesota's largest youth service conference to help others find their own power and passion to change the world. For setting an example for youth and adults alike, the Initiative Foundation and Gray Plant Moody are proud to honor Jennifer Schmidt of St. Cloud, Minnesota as the 2009 Outstanding Youth. Please welcome her to the stage to accept the award. <laughs>